Hey guys, so if you didn't know already, today is the beginning of Project for Awesome. You'll probably see it all over YouTube. But it's basically where YouTubers post videos about their favorite charity or nonprofit organization. It started about four years ago, I believe. If you need any more information about that, uh, just go ahead and click the link below. I'll post the link for everything pretty much that I'm talking about today. So, so the nonprofit organization that I decided to highlight today is the Food Allergy and Anaphylaxis Network. So for those of you who do not know, I have a severe peanut allergy, and I'm also allergic to some tree nuts too, but I'm not even sure which ones, so I just avoid all of them. But, uh, so this is a very, like, important cause for me, personally. Just because I feel like most people do not know how severe allergies can be, and they're not even aware of their actions and how they can affect the person with the allergy. Now, on their website, I'm just going to read you their mission. It says, The mission is to raise public awareness to provide advocacy and education and to advance research on behalf of all those affected by food allergy and anaphylaxis. Uh, for those of you who don't know what anaphylaxis is, it's pretty much just the reaction that occurs because of an allergy. So just a little background on the food allergy and an and an I can't say it. So just a little information about the Food Allergy and Anaphylaxis Network. I'm just going to abbreviate it like this because that's a lot easier instead of stumbling over my words every time I say it. But it was founded in 1991 and it's currently the largest nonprofit organization providing information to the media, schools, government officials, um, food companies, and just like people with allergies. There are currently about 25,000 members worldwide. More than 12 million Americans have a food allergy. That's one in every 25 people. That's nearly 4% of the US population has a food allergy. There is no cure for food allergies as of now, and even trace amounts can cause allergic reactions. Eight foods account for nearly 90% of all food allergic reactions in the US. These foods are milk, eggs, peanuts, tree nuts, wheat, soy, fish, and shellfish. So and that was just a couple little things that I wanted to tell you that I found a little bit interesting. Uh, if you want any more information about that or are curious about any of this stuff, uh, feel free to go to their website. There's tons of information provided there. There's links to other websites. There's like media packets if you want to do. Go there, check it out. But I just want to talk to you a little about myself and my peanut allergy. So I've been allergic since I was, since I was born, I guess. I'm not, I don't really know how um, they found out that I was allergic to peanuts. But yeah, it's just been like a battle my whole life. <laughs> Recently, I was actually flying on an airline and I'm actually extremely surprised that airlines still serve peanuts. Uh, some airlines don't, but some still do. So whenever I go flying, it's, it's, it's quite stressful just to do that because I do react to um, just peanut residue and stuff on my skin. I'll break out in hives and stuff like that. So anyways, long story short, the attendant at the airline desk um, told me that they couldn't really do anything um, for me on the flight. Usually they'll like stop serving the three rows ahead of me and three rows behind me, but for some reason that flight they didn't want to and they just decided to move me to a different location. So I wasn't an inconvenience to the other passengers. Um, that's what the airline told me. I was quite upset. I ended up calling the airline and talking to them. Couldn't really do anything about it. They didn't really care. But um, yeah, that was just one instance where I was kind of, um, I was literally like discriminated against just because of my food allergy. And they, whatever, okay. This is a long story, it could do a whole video by itself, but anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> another thing in my life that I have to be aware of, and most people like don't even think of, say you're over a friend's house, they have a dog, and they feed that dog a peanut biscuit or something, some kind of peanut treat. If that dog licks me afterwards, I'll break out, I'll have a allergic reaction. What if it was like licking me on my finger, then I accidentally touched my mouth? I don't, I don't even know what would happen, but I don't want to. So, 
having a peanut allergy is quite, um, sorry I'm doing this, this with my pen. Having a peanut allergy is quite the, um, quite the serious thing. I just urge you guys to go educate yourself because that's like one of the main things. I feel like people aren't educated about allergies. Like, I can avoid this stuff, but even if I still avoid it, things other people do can affect me. Like, just because I avoid it doesn't mean I'm not going to have a reaction to something. So, um, if you don't have the means to donate, I will put links for, um, the donation page and just their main page as well. If you don't have the means to donate, it's fine. Um, just go educate yourself. Go click through a couple web pages. Go read up on some facts. Do whatever you want. Um, I would appreciate it having an allergy and I'm sure everybody else who has allergies would also appreciate it. So yeah, that is my nonprofit organization that I hope you guys will check out and until next time, kick it bye. I'm over it.